Hello guys, how are you doing? Uh, my name is Carlos Tierney. I am the owner of Champions Martial Arts. As some of you may be aware and may know, uh, we'll be hosting our anti-abduction workshop for kids on June 8th. Now, uh, this workshop uh, we do every year. Uh, it's our, our kids safe, uh, part of our kids safety, our summer safety series that we run uh, for kids. And we also have some adult abduction workshops and some college uh, uh, anti-abduction and, and, and safety awareness uh, workshops for college kids as well. This is our very first event. Um, and it was really disturbing to me uh, that I, I put the event up on Sunday, on Sunday. And I have already been planning this event for the last three months. We have a very special guest coming in to actually help run uh, the, the presentation for us. His name is Master Isaac Coastley. Master Coastley is a good friend of mine, a mentor. And Master Coastley travels all throughout the United States and Europe uh, doing his anti-abduction prevention uh, prevention workshops uh, for families all over the world, helping keep families safe. So I'm very excited to have him come out to Syracuse uh, and to our community and help our kids in our community become safer in the environment and in, 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 in the way that our, our world is changing now. And as I, I put out this video, um, I'm sorry, as I put together the, the event page, I came across my, my news feed that a little girl in Texas had just been uh, kidnapped uh, in broad daylight from her mom. If you didn't see it, I'm gonna share uh, the little clip with you guys so you can kind of see it here. We can watch it together. Obviously there's a little commercials we gotta go through. So uh, what I want you to realize is this, this, this event, I'll let you kind of watch it here. You see the mom getting up from the ground. So now let me just kind of just just take a minute and, and and let's let's backtrack here a little bit. So when we have these type of events that happen, everyone gets so like, oh my God, I can't believe that happened. Uh, I, I'm praying for the family and things of that nature. But here, this could happen anywhere, guys. This could happen in our own city, our own town, our own neighborhood. This is a very looks like a very nice neighborhood. Um, looks like a quiet neighborhood. And this predator, this person, was just going probably around neighborhoods looking for someone to prey on. And he chose this mother and this daughter to be the ones that he was going to attack. So now again, this can happen at any time. But what happens is sometimes we see stuff like this because it happens in other areas and we feel that it can't, it won't happen to us. Uh, and that's where, that's where we really go wrong, right? Is because we're not doing the steps we need to prepare ourselves for just in case something like this happens, right? And this is what this workshop we're going to be doing for you guys and for the community is going to help you all with. And this is something that we want families to be a part of. Because as you can see, this is a mom that was with her daughter. And her daughter was just an arm's length away. And her daughter was actually able to be taken away. Now, what about the moments when you're at the park with your kids and your kids kind of run around the park and doing their own thing at the park? Or maybe you're inside while the kids are outside. You know, how are we preparing our children for these type of moments that they may face if somebody were to come near them? This is what this workshop is about. This is what this week is going to be about. I'm going to let you guys finish watching a little bit of this video. I'm going to show you another one off of this one. Again, this was just Sunday, or Saturday rather, I'm sorry. Someone doing their due diligence, helping find this little girl, paying attention to what's been going on and seeing what's been happening. Paying attention and then identifying what they're looking for. This becomes a community thing, parents and families. All right, so that was just one that I wanted to show you guys. Uh, let me see, I'm gonna stop share here. And I just, I just, I need you to understand the importance of this, right? Uh, so when we do these workshops, this isn't, this isn't some type of. Uh, I had one person when I put up a, 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 the the pulse of what we're gonna be doing is that oh you are you're 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 cap you're trying to capitalize on families' biggest fears. 
listen, people, this is reality. This is, this is happening. This isn't me capitalizing on anything. This is, this is not us. This is me having information, me bringing someone in that has information that can help your family and help the families in your community and help someone if they ever find themselves in a situation to get themselves out of the, out of the situation and into a safer place. So let me show you another video. Um, this was even more disturbing. Um, this one was a little girl was taken in McDonald's. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen this one or not. So as you can see, uh, there's gonna be a lady walking. And I don't know where this little girl's parents are or where this little boy's parents are. Where, where, where's their parents? We don't know, right? Something could have happened where they kind of stepped off. But here she is. She's walking out of the McDonald's with the kid that's not hers. And come to find out, this is like a ring that they have where they go and they try to find these, these kids that are not with their parents and they just take them. Now, luckily for uh, what happened at this moment was there was another little girl there's another little girl that actually saw the woman walk up to the little boy and realized the, little, the woman was not with the boy. And she was the one that brought it to the attention of the people in the facility. And that's how they were able to get out and actually get the ABP out and be able to find out who this person was and get back the little, the, 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 little, the toddler. Ladies and gentlemen, people in our community, this is happening all the time. And you may feel that it won't happen to you. It doesn't happen in our community. There are people here that we don't even realize that are here. That are, that, are, that are roaming through our neighborhoods, that are going through our things, looking for the right vulnerability spot that they can attack and, 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 and cause chaos. So I'm just asking for you guys, you know, if you feel this is important to you, make sure you sign up for our workshop that we have. It's gonna be on June 8th. Unfortunately, I mean, we, we, we only have a little bit of space on our mat, guys, um, but we wanna have as many people here as possible. Uh, it's gonna be June 8th at 10.30. Again, it's at Champions Martial Arts. We're located at 228 Chapel Drive. Uh, I will tag a link in this video uh, that I put up that you can go to and you can register for this event. Again, this is a very important event for all of our people in our community because it's going to help us, you know, hopefully save us in a situation that we may find ourselves in. You guys have a great day and I will see you all soon. Bye now.